What is up gamers, Fcast and Chill here. So if you've been following this channel at all basically, you would know that I've been spending a lot of time with Cox, no homo. But I, I've been, you know, just hanging out here at CMs for the past month or so, and I have gotten to 500 solo CM kill count. And I want to show you guys all the loot that I got from that. So if you remember last time I had a video, I was at 300 kill count. And so this is the loot that I had as of that point. So you could see here, I had a bank that was almost one bill from all my Cox loot, 941 mil. And if you look at my log here, you can see I'm still missing quite a few purples. I still need the ancestral top, the elder maul and twisted bow and even the buckler, as well as, you know, pet and dust. So that's the starting point. Well, uh, let's get into it and show the loot for the next 200 up to 500. But before I do that, I do want to show you a few really small optimizations I've made from doing so many CMs. So first I want to show you that I've gotten to where I can do Tecton with no run energy usage. So as he approaches me, I just walk to the side here and I just walk on each side like this, so I'm using control click to walk to the corner and then just run to the corner adjacent and then attack and keep moving. And notice that whenever he turns to attack, right as my fangs start animation starts, then that means that I have to run two tiles once. So essentially I just walk the side of him, run across the corner, unless he turns to attack right as my fang animation starts. And in that case, I have to run two tiles first and then go back to walking. And if I do that, then actually on average, I'm regaining more run energy than I'm using. I've also found a more consistent way to do the crabs room with um, that perfect timing finishing in under a minute. So as I run in, I equip my Bofa and I attack these first three crabs, put my protect from melee on so I'm not taking damage. So I attack this crab again as the ball comes in, change to my hammer, and then I smash this guy. And then after smashing move, equip my trident and attack him. I actually splash that time, then smash that one, move, equip my trident and attack. And that way, you know, since I'm attacking both of them with my trident after smashing them, it should change them to the blue color that I need them to be here. Unless, you know, I splash with my trident and then, you know, I might get unlucky and have to wait anyway. But yeah, that's a easier way to do crabs room. And, you know, as we clean it up here, you can see I'm just going to smash this guy here and then we can move on to the next room. And you'll see that pretty much every time, unless you get issues with your trident splashing or the crabs running away, I can get that 59.4 second completion. You could go even faster if you run into the first energy ball to reset it more quickly, but you take about 25 damage when you do that. Probably not worth it, unless you're speed running. So in the Vanguard room, when I, when I had put together my CM guide before, I hadn't realized that if you stand here in this bottom right corner, and attack the melee vanguard that it'll actually get stuck. So this is a nice little safe spot. You can just hang out here and then run back to the corner after attacking him and he will get stuck on that bottom wall there. And you know, this will save you a bit of run energy from running back and forth while doing vanguard. It's pretty nice, but not a huge deal. So one room that was giving me some frustrations occasionally still was Vasa. So it would seem that, you know, as he teleports me, I would spam click away to run away as soon as I could move. And occasionally I'd still get hit really hard and get one shotted. It was pretty rare, but it was happening. So I've started using a plugin called Path Marker. It's a pathing plugin and it shows you, you can see here all the red squares are where I'm going to run and the yellow are the ones I'm going to run through. So the reason I'm using that now is after I get teleported when I'm clicking away, I make sure that the red square is two tiles away from where I'm standing. You know, if you're bunched up on the corner, it might not be, and then you can get slapped. So I just turn that plugin on real quick at the start of the Vasa fight and every time I get teleported, just to make sure when I spam click to run away that I'm running at least two tiles. And the plugin actually has a nice little thing you can do where you can turn it on or off with the press of a button because I don't want to see those colored tiles all the time while I'm playing, that seems really annoying. So I just put it, uh, binded it to my page down, so I can just tap page down to turn it on or off. Pretty cool. But, uh, let's go ahead and get into what you guys came here for, which is showing all the loot. And as I'm going through all these kills, I want you to keep in mind that every single kill count 
is taking me on average about 47 minutes or so when you include things like re-gearing and setting back up more like maybe 48 or even 49. So yeah, by the time I'm done with this 500, including the time I've spent doing normal cocks, I will have put in 500 hours into solo cocks. So remember, this is our starting point and let's get into it. And this is kill number 301. Looks like we're starting off with a bit of a dry streak here, especially long since, you know, the last purple I got, I think it was 289. Uh, but here we go, we got an arcane at 319. So yeah, worst purple to see, but whatever, at least it's something. And 14 later, we got a deck scroll here at 333. So remember, as I'm doing these death lists, there's approximately a 1 in 14 and a half, 1 in 15 chance or so uh, for these raids. It's about 1 in 15 with how often I die. So um, yeah, hopefully I can get purples a little more often than that, but we'll see. And here's another twisted kit at 339. So these are actually a 1 in 75 drop from CMs and independent of any of the purple drops. Like you can get both or just one of them. And I already have over three, which is for recoloring your ancestral. So it's kind of worthless, but still kind of cool to get. It'll be added to the collection log. All right, and here at 347, we got a Twisted Buckler. So that is a new item for me. Uh, probably the one I'm, one of the ones I'm less excited about. I, I have heard that it is good to bring this Buckler into CMs. You could actually bring it into Ulm because it gives you a little bit more range attack, uh, max hit for the head phase. But I'm probably not going to because then I would have to give up either a brewer or a store and I'd feel a lot more comfortable at home just bringing the supplies in that I currently am. So I'm probably not going to use this buckler right now, but it's still kind of nice to have. I mean, it's best in slot for some content, so it's it's something. I'll take it. And we got another kit here right after the buckler. Again, useless, but still cool, I guess. And we got another Din's Bulwark right after that. Uh, Dins is, you know, not very valuable, and that's actually my third, so that kind of sucks, but hopefully we'll get some more purples here soon. And we have another pretty long dry streak going on, but here we go at 381, we got an arcane. So that's after, what, 32 kill count? Again, these are one in 14 or one in 15, so that kind of sucks to see another arcane after that. But, you know, we did just get the twisted buckler, so that was something new, and let's just keep going. Here at 386, I got another prayer scroll, uh, dex this time, so worth a bit more, but still sucks that it's a prayer scroll and five raids later at 391 we got another arcane prayer scroll of course somehow got another twisted kit at 406. It, it seems like I'm getting these about as often as I am purples and they're supposed to be 1 in 75 which is a little wild but it's okay it's, it's kind of cool to see the collection log just fill up with more and more of these. And another pretty long dry streak going on here and at 417 after about 26 or so items or kill count, we got another arcane prayer scroll, my favorite. And 
and incredibly dry again, 445 now, and we got another twisted kit, but still no purple since that last arcane. One thing that's kind of cool here is I realized you could filter on the last X kills for your raid log tracker. And if you see here, um, I actually got over 6 million points in my last 100 kills here. And so that means I'm averaging, you know, over 60k a raid, which is pretty neat. Uh, shows you how little I'm dying these days, which is pretty nice. And at 4.51 here, after a very long dry streak from purples, we got another deck scroll. It's actually wild how many dry streaks I'm getting on these purples and uh, how whenever the, I finally get something, it keeps being a prayer scroll, but that's okay. And of course, another twisted kit right after that deck scroll. And a bit later here at 463, yet another deck scroll. This is actually wild how many prayer scrolls I'm getting in a row. And it's now been about 115 raids since my last non-prayer scroll purple, which is a little demoralizing, but that's okay. We're just going to keep going. And we have another very dry streak going on here, of course. But here you can see I actually got the Metamorphic Dust, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is not one of the purple drops, but it is a 1 in 400 that you get from doing CMs. And it's used to be able to transmog your pet. So when I eventually get the Ulm pet, you know, if that ever happens, then I'll be able to transmog it, which is a pretty cool item to get. It's, it's kind of a big flex, so... I'm, Really happy that I got this, even though I'm insanely dry on good purples. Now let's just wrap up the 500 since we're so close. And of course we get another arcane prayer scroll here. I think this is actually seven prayer scrolls in a row from purple items, which I, I did the math and I think it's only about a 2% chance of that happening that you get seven purples in a row that are all prayer scrolls. So I'm kind of getting fucked here, but that's okay. Um, just gonna keep grinding. And here at 494, we got an Ancestral Hat. This is actually number three for me, so a little disappointing. But, uh, you know, it's, it's worth over 50 mil right now, which I guess that's something I can get some bonds or use it to help fund the giveaway that I'm doing. Uh, by the way, if you guys hadn't checked out my Loot from 300 Cox Kill Count video, I did announce that whoever guesses correctly what kill count I get a Tebow, I'm giving 100 mil to. Um, so, you know, it adds a little excitement, but a lot of you have been very wrong because most people were guessing somewhere in the 400s. So we'll see. Maybe next time. That is it for the big 500. And let's look at the total loot and see what we're at now. By the way, I do want to shout out that I have been doing some of these kill counts on Twitch. And in my description here, my Twitch is just the same as my YouTube, FCAS and Chill. If you ever want to come hang out and just keep me company uh, and keep me from going crazy while going dry on this grind, feel free to drop by. But now let's take a look at the total loot. So here we have these. This is my total loot log from all 500 kills. And so you can see this has a value of 1.3 billion now. Tons of supplies here. I've broke the 100k mark on coal, which is kind of cool. Um, I have so many herbs here now that I definitely have 99 herb banked once I actually collect the secondaries, which is nice. I even have enough gems here to where once I cut them I can get 99 crafting. And I have over 1.1 million pure essence, which might come in handy eventually, I mean, whatever. Uh, now I'm actually at 8 twisted kits, kind of wild. But uh, that's where we're at now, after the 200 normal solos and the 500 CM solos. And then let's look at the collection log. But before we do that, now that I have 500, I'm going to come over here and grab a cape from the captain. I'm going to take Xerix Warrior. And that is a new collection log slot. You get this cape for completing 
500 challenge mode Chambers of Zeric raids. And it looks pretty nice. Um, I feel like it doesn't look as cool as the time that it takes to get it. But uh, still, you know, let's wear it and see. It's got some trim around the edge. It's, it's kind of cool. Um, it, it's actually interesting. Only, it looks like at the time of recording this, 291 Iron Men in all of old school RuneScape have this item. Which is a little wild. Um, you know, I guess I'm in the top 300 now, which is cool see here on the high scores but we're just going to keep climbing until we get the twisted bow and who knows maybe i'll even make the thousand mark and here's what the collection log is looking like now so you can see i'm still missing four items i'm missing the pet the twisted bow ancestral top and then of course the elder mall and then the capes that you get for the 1000 1500 and 2000 kill counts i'm, uh, I'm up to eight twisted kits now which is a little wild and i have 35 total purples 24 of those being prayer scrolls so looking at my total points now <clears throat> across both my normals and my challenge mode raids i am at 34.8 million and some change points and so the drop rate for tebow is quite a bit lower and actually doing the math here it tells me that by now I would have a 68.8% chance of Tebow. So that means if we had a thousand people do as much ch uh, chambers as I have, 688 of those a thousand would have a Tebow right now. So it feels kind of shitty to, you know, be in that bottom 30% or so, but, you know, we're, we're just going to keep going. Um, kind of cool that my percent chance of having a Tebow, if you round it, it's 69. It's pretty nice. But um, yeah, so th that's a bit unlucky. And then another stat is, you know, with the total number of points I have, I would have been expected to get 40.1 purples by now. And I'm actually only at 35 purples. So I'm about five purples behind expected, which kind of sucks. And, and actually, you know, at the number of points I have, there's only a 23% chance of having 35 or less purples. So, um, yeah, kind of in that bottom quarter for purples compared to what you'd expect. And then another stat is that I have, you know, 24 prayer scrolls out of the 35 purples that I have. So with 35 purples, you actually only have a 13.5% chance of having 24 or more prayer scrolls. So, you know, not only am I getting kind of fucked on how many purples I'm getting compared to what's expected, I'm also getting fucked on, you know, the number of prayer scrolls I'm getting per purple. So yeah, pretty shitty. But I'm hoping that'll turn around if I just keep grinding. I'm gonna spend a lot more time at Ulm and hopefully get some good news before too long. Um, you know, again, come hang out on Twitch if you want to watch me stream some of these kill count. And I will be back, you know, either when I get TiVo or maybe around the 750 mark. So take care. I'm going to go kill some old. Please like and subscribe.